my issue with AI, and people know this, is that I think a lot of it is, is hot air. So when you think about the things that have worked for you, both in terms of internal functions, but also in terms of how you've driven great customer service, where has AI really, really worked for you? Where AI has really helped us and new software and new uh, sensory technologies have really helped us is on the delivery side. As I say, you know, we're not Amazon. We can't take those very specialized resources, those data analytics teams that we have, and just willy-nilly let a thousand flowers bloom. We don't do that. We, we try to apply it to the places that are going to be most meaningful for consumers and consumers yeah. who are looking to know when their parcels are coming, to shippers who want to connect really complex shipping tools to our systems, and then, as I mentioned, also the back office systems. When you're a 10 billion pound turnover company, sadly, your, your back office systems are big, and uh, they take up a lot of resource. But going back to technology and AI, we have used algorithmic decision making not just uh, in delivery and, and helping us be more precise about when we can deliver, what kind of traffic can be delivered in a particular period of time, but we also now use it in our back offices as well. And I think you've got a robot called Myrtle or something in your uh, <laughs> HR function. In the <laughs> HR function, you know, that, that one we're still working yeah, on, okay. shall we say, Kareem. Fine, you know, that, fair enough. That there are certain things that are really great, and then there are other things that, yeah, you know, are, not you so have, that are not so great, and you have to keep working on them. <laughs>